before you all. Are you ready for another adventure with me? Today our conversation is about the discovery of a giant black hole. Different from all others observed so far. If you like the video, don't forget to appreciate my hours of research and production by subscribing to the channel, liking, and sharing. I notice that many are liking but not subscribing to the channel, this makes me very sad. Also, let me know what you think about this subject, comment here, I will read your comment with great pleasure. In June 2022, Australian scientists discovered a quasar that emits unusually bright light. The stunning sight was generated by the supermassive black hole J1144 with a mass of over 3 billion suns. The image shows it as a bright blue dot. This is not the first time astronomers have found these giants, but this one is special. In the known universe, there are no black holes like J1144 in terms of appetite. It absorbs every second a mass equivalent to the Earth's. It consumes so much matter that its event horizon is unusually wide, the orbits of all the planets in the solar system would fit inside it. The scientists concluded that it is the fastest growing black hole to have existed in the last 9 billion years. A huge red-hot accretion disk formed around J1144 and shines 7,000 times more than the light of the entire Milky Way. It is so bright that even amateur astronomers can see it with a powerful enough telescope. How dangerous is the black hole and many thousands of other black holes that may be much closer to us? How many of them surround our solar system or even are there? Are all black holes the same? Not all stars in the universe have a permanent home and a solar system. Some of them are wandering through space. And if one of those stars, about 20 times more massive than our sun, explodes, it will become a black hole, but not just any one. There is a category of black holes that are not stationary. They are ejected from their locations by extreme cosmic explosions or other large-scale phenomena in space. In space, nothing is really stationary, even our solar system moves around the center of the Milky Way galaxy at more than 788,000 km per hour, 490,000 miles per hour. But some wandering black holes have been seen moving at 5 million km per hour, 3 million miles per hour. Astronomers believe there are at least 100 million of these wandering black holes right here in our Milky Way galaxy. The closest wandering black hole to us was recently discovered by scientists and is currently located at a distance of about 5,000 light years. It is in the Carina Sagittarius spiral arm of the Milky Way. Generally, black holes are accompanied by stars, but this one is not. The Hubble Space Telescope also managed to directly measure the mass of the black hole, which is about seven times the solar mass. The giant is moving at about 160,000 km per hour, 100,000 miles per hour. When a massive star explodes in a supernova that is not perfectly symmetrical, this can give a kick to the newly formed black hole and send it through space away from the stars around it. 5,000 light years is still a huge distance. Recently, scientists discovered a black hole candidate with 10 times the solar mass. And now it is thought to be the closest to Earth, about 1,500 light-years away. Called Gaia BH1, the black hole has a companion star of similar mass and age to the Sun. But there's more. This star could harbor planets. Still, astronomers believe the closest wandering black hole should be about 80 light-years from our planet. Alright, but what if there's a hidden black hole in the solar system? No, we won't be sucked in, black holes aren't giant vacuums. It's a myth. If the sun were suddenly replaced by a black hole of the same mass, our planet's orbit around it would not change. But, according to simulations, the Earth's atmosphere would be ignited in seconds by the heat of the monster's accretion disk, oceans would evaporate, and molten metal would seep from the Earth's mantle into space. 
So, the black hole would tear our planet to pieces. But to be sucked by a monster, we would have to cross its radius, the radius of the event horizon that surrounds a non-rotating black hole. There are also theoretical primordial black holes. Usually, black holes come in enormous sizes, but this class is really small. Immediately after the Big Bang, there were small density fluctuations throughout the universe. Some regions had slightly more or less mass than average. And the material and regions with mass above average could have collapsed to create tiny black holes. These black holes would have existed for a long time and could be more massive than a star or lighter than a bird's feather. Although observations show that, as a general rule, there are two possible mass ranges or windows for primordial black holes. These are less than a lunar mass, 74 million metric tons, and some tens of solar masses. Primordial black holes do not threaten us. In fact, if they exist, they could explain some or all of the dark matter that helps keep the universe together. A PhD student at the University of Geneva has been working on the formation of primordial black holes after the Big Bang. The result is that there could be hundreds of times more of these black holes in the universe. And since they are less massive than the moon, all of the dark matter could be explained by their existence. But this low mass value for a black hole would mean that it is smaller than a tenth of a millimeter in diameter, or about the width of a human hair. This would also mean that primordial black holes should be everywhere, including in our solar system. A theoretical astrophysicist at Harvard University thinks there's one hidden on the edge of the solar system affecting the orbits of a variety of small objects beyond Pluto. But then there are the next level black holes. They are called quasars and are considered some of the most destructive objects in the universe. More than 1 million quasars have been discovered so far. They are extremely bright active galactic nuclei that are powered by one or more supermassive black holes. If an active quasar were to approach Earth, we would be in trouble. The closest galaxy to Earth with a quasar, called Markarian 231, is about 600 million light-years from Earth and is feeding on two black holes. Even if, for some reason, it grows to an incredible size, it will not reach our planet. Eventually, its black hole will exhaust its supply of gas and dust. Then, like all others, the black hole will run out of material and the powerful light of the quasar will fade. But this will take billions of years. When Australian scientists discovered a quasar called J1144, they were surprised. It is 500 times more massive than the black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A. The accretion disk of the supermassive black hole that powers the quasar is the brightest that scientists have ever observed. This is due to the massive event horizon of the black hole and the extremely fast rate at which it attracts matter. Scientists believe that the properties of J1144 set a record that may never be broken. Black holes are hard to detect because they don't emit light. But when black holes pull matter towards the event horizon, they do it so quickly that this matter turns into extremely hot plasma, which emits light in a ring around a black hole known as the accretion disk. And although it is located in the constellation Centaurus, about 7 billion light years from Earth, J1144 can be seen with a telescope pointed at exactly the right part of the sky. Scientists have almost exhausted the regions of the sky where black holes like this could be sitting. But predictions show that there should be about 40 quintillion black holes in the universe, representing about 1% of all matter. So there's still a chance that an even bigger and more voracious black hole is out there somewhere. The brightest of the quasars, J1144, doesn't threaten our existence. But are all of them safe for us? If a giant bright quasar appeared in our neighborhood, it would certainly swallow up our entire stellar system. Quasars emit energies of millions, billions or even trillions of electron volts. His energy exceeds the total light of all the stars within a galaxy. 
The brightest objects in the universe shine from 10 to 100,000 times more than the Milky Way. All these cosmic monsters sound a bit scary. But is there really something to worry about? Most black holes are in a point in space and absorb objects that fall within the reach of their gravity. Another of the closest black holes to us, V616 Monocerotis, is over 3,000 light-years away. So, even if this monster absorbs its binary partner and increases in size, it would not affect us. But there are even more mysterious and powerful objects out there in space, beyond black holes and the quasars they produce. Meet a neutron star. It has an unprecedented power that can sometimes be devastating to its neighbors. When a giant star with a mass greater than 10 suns explodes in a supernova, it does not always turn into a black hole. If it doesn't have enough mass, its nucleus becomes a neutron star. Gas and hot dust are compressed in these stars in such a way that it's hard to imagine. The Chandra X-ray telescope identified a neutron star after the supernova Cassiopeia A exploded. The radius of the star is only about 10 kilometers, 6 miles. A normal star with that mass would have a radius of over 1 million kilometers or over half a million miles. A teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh about 4 billion tons. While a teaspoon of solar matter, like that of our sun, would weigh about 1.6 pounds, 725 grams. Due to the incredible density of a neutron star, it emits incredibly strong magnetic fields. So, if we suddenly placed a neutron star in our solar system, those strong magnetic fields would cause chaos. The planets would be thrown out of their orbits and, if a neutron star were close enough to Earth, it would raise tides with such force that it would shatter our planet. Fortunately, there is no neutron star in our neighborhood. Although recently, Astronomers using NASA's Swift X-ray Telescope have discovered one of these types of stars between 250 and 1,000 light-years from Earth. This makes it the closest neutron star to the solar system. But there are even bigger and scarier things in space. Galaxies often cause cosmic disasters and can even collide with other galaxies. It seems that there should be plenty of space for them in space. But many galaxies get so close to each other that they start rotating side by side. The Hubble Space Telescope was able to capture this phenomenon. This triangle in deep space appears as the bright spiral galaxy NGC 2445, on the left, and its less bright companion, NGC 2444, on the right, are colliding. The event caused the formation of stars in a rare triangular shape. A similar outcome awaits our galaxy. Scientists have created an animation to show how the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will collide. According to researchers, the merger will begin in almost 5 billion years and will end in 8 billion years. This will result in the formation of a large galaxy, often called Milkomeda. The solar system will probably remain intact in the newly formed galaxy. But other stars may not be so lucky. Scientists say the process has already begun and the weak halos of the two galaxies have already touched. Today we use science to predict the future. You can't imagine the satisfaction I have when you stay until the end. Much peace. Until the next video.